Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So before we get started on this everyday makeup look, get ready with me look, um, please hit the subscribe button, and please also don't forget to ring the bell so that you will be notified when I post new videos. So let's jump right into it. Hey guys, so I wanted to hop on. Today is favorite day because it's get ready with me day and i'm pre-recording this and i would not normally wear my hair like this but i'm just running around the house so i wanted to show you a very simple and easy look um i just kind of am gonna go with it and hopefully this video is not too long i'm gonna try not to talk as much so I already have my Maybelline primer on and I am going to um, use Candlelight Shadow Sense to cover up my blemishes. So I'm opening a new one. So you can use Shadow Sense for your eyes for, and for your face. For your lips. Um, yeah. So this, hopefully that this will, this look, I can talk her, will turn out the way I want. So if you've never heard me talk about Shadow Sense, Shadow Sense is a cream base that turns to powder after 60 to 90 seconds. Um, you, it's crease proof, waterproof, anti-aging, has skincare in it, um, and it's buildable, buildable, layable, and the best part about it is it doesn't come off till you take it off. So, and it's waterproof. So, I'm going to take this flat brush I got and I'm just gonna pat them this in okay so right now I'm doing my base face so I'm just starting out so now I'm going to go in with garnet um, so I could do mocha java and I'm just going to do put like a little bit of mocha java shadow sense in my brows because if you've been around a while you know how I do my brows so and I've kind of changed it up a little bit so um now I'm going to go in with my Make Sense um, foundation. I have a little bit left. So I'm going to use this cap that I have. And I'm just putting some there. And then I'm taking my um, Rose Technique sponge I'm not going to mix any of the foundation today I don't think I'm going to use um, mostly um, Synergen's products maybe not all but hopefully so I'm just applying it where I want it to go and if you like this look or you see any products you like I will put a link down below in the description and you can click on that after this video is over and it'll take you right to Synergen's website and you can purchase it there so I'm taking the flat brush and just going in like that and if you the color I have is almond 
And if you don't think that the almond um, works for you or the foundation, any color, um, wait a few minutes after you apply it, like a minute or two, because it's going to um, set and like it's going to adapt to your skin. So I think I need a little bit more. So do you see like the difference? And if you um, have not seen, um, I did a tutorial on this Make Sense Foundation and it is the best foundation I have ever used in my life. And I have Vitiligo, so it really, really works for me. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm just putting a dot right here and right here. Pat it all in. You could use a, um, you could use a more, um, like this to pat it in and you want to make sure you pat it in because um, you get an airbrush look so and um, I'm pre-recording this and today I have a workout and I am going to like be working out on this and it's not gonna come off it's sweat proof, waterproof, anti-aging, like all that stuff. So you can still look pretty working out, even though we have to all wear a mask. And one thing, it doesn't, when you wear a mask and you wear Synergen's makeup, it doesn't come off in the mask. And these days we all have to wear a mask. It's just a thing, okay? Totally adapted to my skin. So now I'm going to go in with that candlelight. You can use it for a concealer. So I'm going to put it on my eyes as a base. And I got a little too much. What do you mean? on my face I am going to use like two drugstore products I think so now I'm going to go in with snow shadow scent it's a white shadow scent and I am just going to go in and so if you have white concealer or white shadow scents with candlelight or concealer from Synergens, um, it'll brighten up the area so it will make you look even more awake than you are. So I'm going to take that beauty sponge from, oh my gosh, hold that thought. Okay, I realized I did not have my brushes, and yeah, so I don't want it to dry, so I'm just taking a flat brush and just patting it all out, and then I'm going to take my sponge and just blend it all out where it needs to go. Oh. So 
So I'm going to add a little bit more of snow because I feel that I waited too long and it um, dried. And if you mess up, you can just add candlelight to your eyes or to your face to redo that one spot. So, I think it like, totally, I totally messed up my nose. So now I'm gonna go in with this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. It was, um, I got it at Fred Meyers, which is Kroger, um, also. And I am just going to take that Real Technique sponge and just brighten it up. Oh, I got it on my eye too, so. You guys seem to really like these Get Ready With Me ones and I'm very appreciative of it because I love doing them. So, now that is done, I'm going to go in with, I'm just using a lot of shadow scents today. I'm gonna use this blush bronzer by um, Arsenogens. Just two little spots and I might have messed that up, but I got too much. So remember, if you haven't seen my contour for um, how to contour for fall and winter, I'm only doing two spots and I'm just gonna pat it in first. I'm not gonna rub it. Now I'm rubbing it and circling. See? Amazing. So, now I'm gonna go up on my forehead. And I did not pat this side in, so it's gonna look different. I don't like it when I do that. <laughs> it's annoying. So, this brush smells really good. <laughs> I don't know what this smell is. Okay, so if here's a little makeup hack trick. If you think you got too much bronzer, which I kind of do, I'm going to go back in with that Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And I am just going to take this flat brush, just gonna pat it all in where I have the bronzer. So now I'm going to, where is the, okay. I'm going to take a sponge again and I am just going to go over where I put the concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with candlelight. and put it as a base. And I'm going to use a more of a flat brush. And these colored ones 
brushes are from Alta Beauty. They are the BH Cosmetics, the Crystal Zodiac. So. Okay, put it down here. Okay. So now I'm going to use a new color that I showed you guys. And when you're applying shadow scents, if you're just watching this for the first time, you are going to want to wait about 10 seconds to let it set up because if you just go in and start, you're just gonna blend it. And you wanna make sure that you pat it in and then once it's set, you can go over with a fluffy brush to smooth it all out with each color if you wanted to do that. So now I'm going to go in with the new color, um, Sweet Rose Shimmer. And this is going to go all over the lid. Just like that. It's like super pretty. It's like a mauve kind of, but like the mauve shimmer that was really popular and Sin Engines sold out of it. Okay. You could also use this for a blush, but I'm going to use this as a blush. This is Pink Posy. So, this is what I'm using as blush. Okay. So, I'm just kind of letting that sweet rose shimmer set up a little bit because, excuse me, with the, um, with the shimmers, you kind of want to wait a little bit for it to set up. So I'm just taking this Morphe uh, M444 444 brush and I'm just gonna make circles. Really pretty. Do you see that? Okay. Really pretty. So I'm going to take a more flatter brush. I need to clean my brushes, guys. And I'm just going to tap it. Pat, or pat it, tap it, pat it. Whatever you want to call it. See how I'm doing that? Super pretty. So now I'm going to hmm, <laughs> now I'm going to I kind of want to use I'm gonna experiment here. That's my pink. I'm going to do some experiment. No, it has to be a different. Okay, so I don't have plumbery and that's a new one. I'm probably gonna get it very soon. And it's kind of like a really, really pretty color. So I am going to take this, I don't know what it's called, but this from Alta Beauty in the Christmas box last year and it's kind of like a plum actually yeah I'm gonna take a more flatter brush so 
I'm gonna go in with that. See how pink it is? You could also use um, plasma pink because when it goes on your eye, you want to do the corner and it's almost just like the color that I used, but I didn't think of it. Okay, so just adding that. Then I'm going to go back in with that color. I'm just gonna do the outside. Super pretty. Okay, on the outside. Wow. This is like super, super pretty purple and pink. Those are like every little girl's favorite color. I know when I was little, it was my favorite color. So I'm gonna go back in with the, the this brush came in a package and I don't really know. So and I'm gonna go on that side, do it again. Then I'm gonna go back in with um, the sweet shimmer. I don't know where I put it. Hold that thought. Okay, so I'm back and I found the sweet rose shimmer and I did add some and I did my eyeliner. I always do that off camera. You guys know that I used the NYX retractable um, eyeliner. It worked really well, but also sometimes I use um, the eye stents by Cinegens and this is their eyeliner and it is amazing. They are both amazing, but this one from Synergens, it you can get it in navy, black, gold, I think um, green, but I'm not sure. Um, so, like, theirs is the best. It runs for $25. So, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the Sweet Rose Shimmer. And I just got it on my nose. You could use this as a highlight too. So I'm going to pat it in with this brush. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm just drop in everything here. I realized that after excuse me after i did my base face i didn't go into i went into the eyeshadow part but i didn't stop the video so this might be really long by the way so i am going to go in with this contour brush and i'm just gonna kind of put it Okay, I might have to use something to cover that up. So now I'm going to do the, um, going to use this Essence Lash Princess um, in the color of black or very black. It was like $4.99 at Ulta. I've never used this. Yes, I did pull it out of my shirt because you want to, with any mascara, you want to make sure that it is warm because it actually goes on really well. I don't know if I love this or not. It's actually clumping my 
eyelashes together. Then I'm going to go down here, right here. Oh shoot, I totally forgot a step. So I was going to show you guys. So I'm going to show you real fast and try not to mess some mascara up. So I'm going to go in with Sandstone Pro Shimmer and to even make it more pop, I'm going to add a little bit. Do you see that? Just brightened up the eye. really pretty look i learned that today actually this morning so i'm going to go in with same brush flat brush just gonna go all over the eye and you guys all know i'm going to add snow to the inner corners after i try to finish i have to fix my nose and I might do that off camera. Cause do you see that? <laughs> Flipper. I don't love this mascara. I don't know. It's my first time using it and I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so now that I'm all finished with, um, actually I'm not. I have to add snow to the inner corner. So I'm just taking my finger and just putting it right there. The inner corners makes it pop a little bit. going to try to fix that. So now I'm going to go in with Granite Shadow Sense and I don't really have a brush so I'm just taking this going like this. Do you see the difference? Amazing. So, now that that is done, I'm going to fix my nose. Just put some candlelight right there. And we go in with that brush, same brush. Okay, then I'm going to go in with a more fluffier brush. See, everyone makes mistakes, right? Then I'm going to go in with this one again. I do not know. Okay. Sponge Pro Technique sponge again. Brighten it up. Okay. So pretty. So now I am going to go in with, I kind of want to mix colors today. If you have not seen my video from th uh, Thursday, it's all about lip scents and layering lip scents. So I am going to do gingerbread and summer sunset. I'm not sure if this is going to work 
So, you want to make sure your lips are clean. They have no food and no makeup on them. Then you want to pat it dry. Sorry, <laughs> I was using the towel over there. So, I'm going to, um, and where to put it? So, I'm going to start with Summer Sunset. This is kind of like a pinkish red, I think. I want to shake it up. If you have not used it, you want to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Wipe off the excess. You want to go the same way you started, th then three layers. And in between, you can fix them. That's one. I'm going to use Gloss Gloss Aster. You want to make sure it's dry to the touch, all the way dry. Again. I'm going to go back in with Summer Sunset. Okay, let's try. Wipe off the excess. Glossy gloss, let it dry. Here, put it down and
two times. Go back in with. So sparkle. Rub them together, and there you have it. have it. This color is almost like nude honey. So I am going to finish up here, clean my mess up, and come back with the end result for you guys. Hey guys, so I'm back with the end result, and this is how it turned out. Um, after I blotted the glossy gloss off, I put some rose gold glitter shadow scents on top to make it more sparkly and pretty but this is how it turned out i really really like it i wish i had plumberry um for the outer corners and trust me i will be getting that and showing you guys so if you liked any of these products that i use remember there's a link down below in the description box please also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and also give this video a thumbs up um so yeah i really really like how it turned out even though i'm going to go work out today this is all going to stay on my face and maybe someday i will show you what i look like after a workout after using synogen's products so stay tuned for that in the new future and thanks for watching